video today shows the three British teens who fled their homes last month crossing into Syria. This is Mohammed. Backpacks on and luggage handed off. The teens are thought to be headed into a life with ISIS. But who is helping them? Turkey's foreign minister says his country has detained this Syrian citizen. They say he is a spy from inside the U.S.-led coalition who helped the girls get into Syria. He works for the intelligence services of a country that is a member of the coalition. It is a very complicated situation. They are far from the only suburban teens to leave their families for the black flag of ISIS. The terror group says this Australian boy blew himself up Wednesday and that there are others patiently waiting to do the same. According to the group, 18-year-old Jake Bellardi of Melbourne killed himself in an Iraqi suicide bombing. This is a horrific situation, an absolutely horrific situation, and it shows the lure, uh, the lure of this death cult uh, to impressionable youngsters. ISIS posted these photos of the fresh-faced teen behind the wheel of a van that they say were snapped just moments before it exploded. Bellardi is said to be the author of this newly discovered blog. In it, he described his journey to becoming a jihadist. In a January post foreshadowing his apparent suicide, he writes, I put my trust in Allah and signed myself up for a martyrdom operation, adding that he is waiting for his turn to sacrifice himself. <laughs> Bilardi describes his transition from an atheist to supporter of Islam and finally to a radicalized jihadist writing the invasions of Iraq and Afghanistan gave birth to my disdain for the United States and its allies, including Australia. The more he learned about jihad, its benefits, its importance, and the rewards for taking part in military operations to raise Islam in the land, the more I desired to join the Mujahideen. And he isn't alone. Just last week, two other Australian teens were arrested at Sydney's airport, suspected of trying to join ISIS. A CIA source estimates more than 2,000 Westerners from various countries have gone to fight in Syria.